Hello viewers, uh, today's topic is uh, brain eating amoeba uh, infection or uh, uh, Negleria uh, folare infection. Uh, Negleria folare uh, uh, is an amoeba that uh, is common uh, throughout the world and lives in soil and uh, fresh water. Now, when conditions uh, are favorable, usually summer, uh, it multiplies rapidly. Uh, brain eating amoeba causes infection uh, when water containing amoeba forcefully enters the nose. Uh, this can occur through uh, recreation, uh, recreational um, uh, swimming, jumping, diving, or uh, during sports like uh, water skiing. Uh, Netty spots or nasal rinsing uh, with uh, unboiled tap water uh, has also caused disease. So swallowing uh, contaminated water does not cause disease. So amoeba consumes uh, and uh, digests its way into the brain, uh, causing primary amoebic uh, uh, meningoencephalitis, uh, which is also known as uh, uh, PAM. Now, uh, Negleria uh, uh, folare is often called uh, brain eating amoeba, uh, which is uh, unfortunately fairly accurate. So, PAM is uh, uncommonly reported, uh, but it has a 99% fatality rate and uh, usually affects young, active, and uh, healthy people. So as uh, of August uh, 2016, 40 cases have been reported in the United States only and uh, in the developing world or other words, uh, most of the cases are not reported, you know. Uh, so most cases has uh, uh, been reported uh, uh, in the uh, uh, southern states. However, in recent years, the cases are being reported as uh, for north and uh, other states, you know. So with the increasing temperature trends, uh, uh, Negleria habitat is expanding and more cases uh, may occur uh, in uh, unexpected places. So that people with PAM have a, a rapidly progressive illness uh, with fever, headache, stiff neck and finally coma and death, you know. Uh, the PAM, uh, looks no different than bacterial or viral meningitis and because the bacterial meningitis is common. Testing and treatment routinely focuses on bacteria. So PM may look like bacterial meningitis without the bacteria and doctors may not know why antibiotics are failing you know. Now the most important clue uh, is exposure to the warm uh, fresh water within the prior uh, two weeks. So anyone uh, with such exposure who develops symptoms of meningitis should seek care uh, 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 urgently you know, and uh, tell the doctor about it. Uh, uh, Negleria is uh, easy to miss even um, when doctors are looking for it uh, like bacterial meningitis. A diagnosis requires a spinal tap that's a lumbar puncture uh, uh, test you know. Now the spinal fluid must be examined uh, specifically for amoeba. So this can be hard to detect without highly specialized tests uh, which are not available in most of the hospitals. Uh, so the treatment of choice is uh, intravenous uh, uh, amphotericin uh, B with a, a combination of uh, antimicrobials uh, like uh, Mpavido. Uh, is a drug that has shown promise and is now available and recommended in the regime. Uh, treatment uh, should be started uh, without delay and an infectious disease doctor should be consulted immediately even if the diagnosis is only suspected. Uh, so the uh, this is uh, as the treatment of uh, uh, treatment plan you know so you should uh, uh, this is a real, a real, real medical emergency. Uh, so the prevention of PM is uh, straightforward. Uh, untreated fresh water of any kind, especially during hot months or uh, in hot springs, should be kept out of the nose. Uh, entering the water during these periods uh, should be avoided, and uh, head should be kept dry uh, above the water when you are uh, uh, swimming. You know, or uh, nose clips should be uh, used. 
Uh, thank you very much for watching this video and if you need more information about any medical condition you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com